Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to remove background noise from your audio recording or from a music file. Uh, and so to, I'm just going to play this. I've created a, a sample file for you to, to listen to that we can work off of. So I'm just going to play it and you'll see what I mean. Okay, I have a fan running in the background and I'm about three feet away from my microphone. So you see we get all this noise. If I left click and select this, we can play just and hear kind of this background noise that's just kind of constant. So this is what we want to get rid of. So luckily there's a, an effect in Audacity to do this. So we go to Effects, and it's called Noise Reduction. So if we go to Noise Reduction without having anything selected, we go to Effect and we go to Noise Reduction, we see it says you need to select some audio. So you might think at first, well, let's just select everything. Control A. Um, this is not the way to do it, by the way. I'm just showing you what you might intuitively try and do. You go to noise reduction, and we see there's actually different steps. We have step one and step two. So step one says, select a few seconds of just noise. So Audacity knows what to filter out. And then click get profile noise. So we don't want to click this right now, because otherwise it'll select the entire audio as It'll think that that's the noise. So instead, what we want to do is just select a part that we know is noise. So, we'll, And the longer, the better on this. So we'll just click Play. So that's some good noise. There was a click in there. I don't know if that'll affect us or not. Or we could try this one at the end. Maybe it's better. Good. That's just constant good noise. So then we go back to Effects, and we go to Noise Reduction. And now, since only noise is selected, we can say get nose, uh, noise profile. So when we click this, it'll get a profile of just this part that's selected. So we, just, we get it, and it just goes away and doesn't say anything. But it's got it, and it's remembered and recorded that. Now we can select everything. So we can double click, or we can go Control A to select everything. And we can go to Effects, and we can go to Noise Reduction again. Now we can work off of step two because it already has saved in its memory a, a noise profile of that noise. And so now we can come in here and make some different adjustments. So I've already changed. I think by default this was down at 12 for me. Uh, so th this might be your default. So go to preview and it'll just play back and you'll hear what it sounds like. So that's better than it was, I think. This is kind of, kind of how it was. It, it, zero is kind of like your baseline. But if we, if we bring this up to maybe 16 and do preview, that sounds a lot better. So we can keep bringing this up, and that, no, that noise gets softer and softer. One risk we have is we want to kind of make sure that it's not aff uh, affecting the way our, my voice sounds. Let's hit preview here and listen. Okay, I have a fan running in the background. That's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to hit OK now, and look, it gets rid of that noise. So now if we go back to the beginning and play. Okay, I have a fan running in the background, and I'm about three feet away from my microphone. That's pretty good. That's a lot better than it was before. So listen to this. This is where, where our noise was. If we hit play now, it's very quiet. If I do control Z and play that, we'll see it's loud again. So that is effectively using noise reduction. You just have to get a noise profile first. We go to noise reduction, and then while that's selected, get profile. And then we go to select everything, effects, and apply it. So kind of two steps there. Kind of play with it. And, you know, if you, if you accidentally keep this part selected and you go to uh, effects and we go to noise reduction, it will only do noise reduction on that part of the selection. And everything else will still be. See, this is still noise over here. There's still noise where I'm talking, but this is like quiet because our selection wasn't made properly. So just make sure when you apply it, you have everything selected. And when you get the profile, you only have the noise selected. Well, that's what I wanted to share with you, just a quick, uh, quick introduction to the noise reduction tool. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.